Canadian National Railway announced the departure of the Continental Limited for Cabriol, Winnipeg, Saskatoon, Right, you money. You lent him money? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
what time it is. Amos and Andy time. It's my favorite program. I never miss it at home. We don't have a radio. We have a radio, but the tube is busted. Well, you may not have a radio, but you've got Max Brown. And I read a terrific joke in the Star Phoenix. Should we hear it? Okay. Little boy's sitting on the curb, crying and sobbing his heart out. And a man comes up to him and says, little boy, what are you crying for? And the little kid goes, father called mother a waddling goose. And the man says, yes. Uh, and the little boy goes, and yesterday, mother called father a stupid jackass. And the man says, well, yes, but why are you crying? And the little boy says, well, what does that make me? <laughs> Uh -oh. Time to go to bed. Gotta be up early in the morning. Why does he have to sleep in our room? Because Pa says so. Marie isn't even our teacher yet. Why can't you sleep? Night, everybody. This is the cold room. Well, we can't stoke the fire all night. Cold scarce. Well, good night. Good night. Thank you very much for the lovely dinner. Yes, I do. Uh... We had to, but the other one died. Uh... Dad said it was just as well because there wasn't enough feed anyway. Well, he's a nice calf. Do you want to go and shoe our baby pig? Oh, uh, maybe later. Dean's huh? itch. Time to go. <laughs> What do you want to see first? I would like to see the toilets, please. Downstairs. Chemical toilets. Best in the country. Watch your head. Nice place, eh? Oh, how do you like it? Is there somewhere else where I could stay? Nobody wants to take the teacher full time. 
some agreed to take you for about a month. You have to move every month? It's a question of taxes. I don't understand. Well, the government work's still got to be done. Roads graded, coals hauled to the school, miserable jobs like that. Folks get a tax credit for it. Boarding a teacher is one of the miserable jobs. You're strapped. Got to show these kids who's boss. I won't be using it. You better get used to using it. Some pretty big kids in Great Nine. for my brother to come here. How can I buy food? We'll see you next time. the lids on tight, you'll get a gut ache. This is yours. Freshly killed. Uh, what do I do with the, uh... Cook it, of course, and eat it. I don't know how to cook meat. The thing he knows about meat is what he sees in brown people. I'm cutting you off a ham. Roast this in your oven. It's about a 12-pounder, and you can eat it hot and then cold. And here, we heard about you running behind the sleigh. Get on downstairs and let us attend to our work. Thank you, ladies. You won't even last a month. Oh, oh you surprised me. I'm sorry. That's oh, all right. I washed the shelves and papered them. Oh, how nice. Thank you. The stove's a disaster. Are you, uh, are you English? Huh. How can you tell? I think I've got a Union Jack painted on the tongue. Oh, it's a nice tongue. It, it's a nice accent. Well, I'll, uh, I'll let you finish here. Where are you from? From the east. I'm a city boy. Oh, how are you going to stand it here? Oh, I... I didn't mean that. Really. Canada's a nice country. In the spring, sometimes. Alice! Sometimes. Where did you live before you came here? London. Thank you. I was a war bride. One of the thousands of British girls who were led to the plains like lambs into the wilderness. Must have quite young. Ooh, I was that green. I used to say to Bert. Bert's my husband. I used to say, are there any Indians? It's just sure Indians all over the place, just like in the movies. Bert was one to tease. Alice! Well, finished, Alice. Here. This is it for you. Good for what? Good for making porridge. Just put it in a double boiler. It'll stick to your ribs. Come on, Alice. It'll be getting dark soon. Uh, thank you for the...
Yes, Stan, please. We'll repeat our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Once we get to 9 a.m. Why well, don't you take the team down to the barn and unhitch them? Would you please allow extra time for that? Well, I gotta drive 11 miles picking up some of the kids. Who are you? Jake Stevenson. Give us a day of daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Boss says you can use the water that's left for cooking and that. It's not as pretty as the last one. <laughs> Before we begin our class, I'm going to take the roll. Now, if we can go from front to back, loud and clear, please stand when you say your name. Kathy, you already know my name. Oh, uh, of course I do, Anne. Hi. John Stevenson. Pretty Sinclair. Summer Littlewood. Sammy and me are in grade five. Sammy Sinclair. Yes. All right. Barn McDougal. Martin, what, what grade are you in? Grade five. Uh, can would grades one to five raise your hand, please? Uh, grade six. Name, please. Mayfield. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Would you stand up, please? Mayfield. Her name's Mary Field. Oh, Mary Field, I know your mother. <laughs> Grade seven. Charlie McDougal. Charlie. Bill Field. Grade eight. Bob Sanderson. Grade nine. Betty Bishop. And Carl Wells. I missed two years because I was sick. Uh, grade 10. Paul Friesen. Uh, Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Duck. All right, let's get busy. We have a lot of work to do. Teacher, you didn't tell us your name. I did. Thank you, Summer. My name. My name is Max Brown. Perfect, man. Wonderful. What are you boys having recess a little early today? Come on, get back to your work. I have nothing to do. You have your algebra problem. I finished birthdays. What do we do now? Teacher? What, Betty? The first graders are finished their C's. All right, would you get them a book out of the shelf, please, and read it to them? What should I read? Whatever you find. Something appropriate. Are you sick? What's the matter with you? Let me see your algebra problem. Don't know nothing about algebra. Me neither. Me neither. Where is Bob Sanderson? Downstairs. We had to go make a little visit. You had to go and make a little visit. How are you boys going to learn anything about algebra making little visits? Bob. What are you doing asleep on my toilet? to ships ready to carry them to all corners of the world. Wherever men were willing to pay the price for their... What are you reading? Where did you get this? There. Thank you, Betty. That will be enough reading for today. Oh, sorry, 
I'm not going to be disturbed by you boys back there again. Now, I don't want you sitting together. But these are the bigger chairs. The others are for the smaller kids. Teacher, you can move their chairs. That's what Miss Williams said to do. Please, Summer. Thank you. Give your brother back his seat. He can have mine. Teacher, you know what John's doing? I see what John's doing. Uh, all right, class this way. Who took my class? Get out of here. Go on, get out of here. Get out of here. for you to find me another place to live. And Mr. Bishop, I wish you would tell the parents please not to give their kids things like, like bullets and, and to make sure that their kids are housebroken and to tell them to leave my clapper alone. And Mr. Bishop, something's got to be done about the food that I've been getting. That pig thing that I was given yesterday was still breathing. It wasn't even cooked. And finally, finally, Mr. Bishop, I would like my salary in advance. I'd be the first one to grab him. Hans wow. no courage when he sees it, Bagotti. He got him. Jack made it. Hans is lifting him up on deck. Good for him. Boy, oh, you boy. Good for the lot. Hans, give him a cheer. The lot's won his way across to the rescue. Let her ring out so he can hear it. So Jack reaches the Pelican safely at last. But will there be time to rescue Captain Hand and the crew? Be sure to listen in at the same time tomorrow evening. Find out what happens. So next. how was your first day? Hello. I got through it. Are you staying here, Sector? Well, I'd like to. Uh, if there would be no trouble. No, it's no trouble at all. Thank you. As a hot city does. Eat Wheaties tomorrow morning. Eat Wheaties and sliced bananas for breakfast some morning soon. You'll say it's a marvelous combination. Oh, what is it? Uh, well, it's uh, uh, my salary. Your salary? Just a matter of uh, detail. Uh, when am I going to be paid? Oh, there's plenty of time for that. David Owen says the guy to Jack Armstrong and the makers of Wheaties. Sorry. This Saturday, the Montreal Canadiens will meet the Toronto Maple Leafs at Maple Leaf Gardens for the last... You like baseball? Of the regular season. Yes, I do. Well, I really like hockey. Oh, I look forward every spring because they bring baseball. Leading up to that World Series. Oh, them New York Yankees, eh? Could we talk salary? Tonight? Yes, I would like to. I thought because you are the chairman of the school board. McDougal said something about $450. Now, I presume that's for the six months. Nope. That's for the year. And figuring the year is 10 months, that figures to $45 a month. Well, that seems very low. Well, of course, we'll uh, have to take off for the food that folks is providing. <laughs> Food that folks are providing? That figures to uh, about 20 a month. Tw t that, that barely leaves uh... And then there's heating and uh, additional repairs. Oh, I see. I, in other words, I'm, I'm paying you $45 a month for the privilege of teaching here. No, not quite. You have something to show for it. 
still leaves you about 20 a month clear. It's not enough. Well, in a sense, you're uh, sort of learning on the job, as they say. $20 a month? I would never have come. It's a hell of a lot more than a lot of farmers with 30 years' experience are getting right now. When, when, when am I going to receive the first $20? Oh, why are you in such a hurry? I'm a, I, I borrowed money to come here. I borrowed money from my brother to come here. I need clothes. Well, what for? You ain't going to no place. Mr. Bishop, I would like to know, please, when I am going to receive my first month's salary. Well, we can't give you any cash. You'll have to take a promissory note. I'll be down when we'll be able to make that good. Promissory note? I yeah. can, I can, I can give you anything but love. Uh, Baby, that's the only thing. Uh, what about dinner? I'm, I'm, I'm not hungry. Yeah, well, the wife's How are we doing over here? John, what are you doing? You're kneeling on Halifax. Come on, get up, move over. What is Vancouver Island doing in the middle of uh, Hudson Bay? It's right from it. You mean that's the whole country? Well, no, we've made it to scale, or at least we've tried, but uh, may I have a pencil? Uh, mine. Thank you. The difference between Ottawa here, which is the capital of Canada, and Edmonton, which is the capital of Alberta, is 2,210 feet. You mean miles. Right, miles. Uh, Why do I have canals? I visit my aunt there. Oh, all right. Well, you're right. You're right, Summer. Let's make a canal right here. The mouse falling apart. All right, all right. Calm down. Uh, all right, I have an idea. Let's draw the map. Draw it in pencil, and then uh, we'll fill in the color afterwards, all right? My pencil for I can't yeah, find take my that pencil and uh, I have some downstairs. I'll go get them. Excuse me. I'll be right back. Those of you who have pencils, go ahead. Yes, I would. teacher, they're the student. Never punish two kids together. You can get the other one next time. And never get yourself into a position where you have to do something drastic. Avoid showdowns. Yeah, I am, but what am I going to do about you? Oh, it's time I'm... for that mystery. Uh -huh. Niall, that 
Harris Montgomery's here to see you. Oh, damn, what does he want? Sorry to bother you, Lyle. But it's important, you being the chairman of the school board. What is it? Like to use the schoolhouse for a meeting. What sort of a meeting? A political meeting for the new socialist party that's being formed. No. Dan Trowbridge is coming over from Kindersley. He really knows how to run meetings. I know all about Dan Trowbridge and his kind. Government spends scarce tax money to educate the idle, and then what happens? Our educated ones come back here and cause a lot of trouble. Damned eggheads. Hey, sorry, teacher, I'm not speaking about you. So, you're the new teacher. Hello, how are you? I don't want the schoolhouse used for politics. You let a liberal candidate speak there in the spring. That was different. Sure, that's different. He's your nephew. Glad you liked it, Harry. But tell me, how do you feel when you're in Pleased to meet you, teacher. I'll see you at the dance. And that, folks, is exactly the way you feel in the famous Dodge Air Glide ride. Visit the showroom of your local Dodge dealer. Uh, damn rattlehead. Rattlehead? Yeah, that's what we call uh, uh, people who are always wanting to change everything. You know, we're radicals. Harris Montgomery, the great free thinker, a non-worker. <laughs> One thing I'll say for this depression, it's made ten million experts that never knew nothing before. The shadow knows. Not he asked for me? No, you not he has. We will proceed no further in this business. We will proceed no further with this business. It's lunchtime. Come on, everyone. Go. It's stuck to my ribs. It's stuck to the floor, stuck to the ceiling. It's stuck to the oven lid. Like cement, it's stuck. How are you getting on at the teacherage? Uh, the teacherage is a combination of a bottomless pit, the Moose River Mine, and the Black Hole of Calcutta. <laughs> Actually, I think it's uh, haunted by the ghosts of teachers who have lived there in the past and died of loneliness. I told Bert about you and the teacherage. He laughed. Then he thinks anyone who's not familiar about it is a bit... Oh, it's a bit daft. Well, we got to be going. Oh, would you mind if I spoke to you for a minute about Mary? Oh, I know. She's a, she's a little shy. Oh, no, no, she's showing a talent for drawing. Her notebook is just filled with sketches that are really quite good. Oh, thank you for your interest. Mayor, come on, sweet. Got to be going. 
I think we should really try to encourage any signs that she may show. I think anything that you do to encourage her will be very well appreciated. Well, goodbye then. Bye-bye. Hope to see you soon. materials and uh, I hope you don't mind but I've, I've written a little list of things that I thought would be helpful and an address on the back. I thought perhaps your husband uh, might write away for them. Oh, I, I don't know what Bert would think about that. But I could put a mail order in the post when I go to uh, Alsace next week. Well, that would be great. No, 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 no buyer. No, this is a... Uh... Hot thread on a winter day? This is wonderful just as it is. Uh, could I ask you a favor? If you're going to go to the post office at Alsask, would you post a letter for me? Of course. Um, never mind. To a girlfriend, eh? I wish. To my ugly brother, who has a job. So do you. I can't even get paid. Look at this. Promissory note. I have to tell Bishop what to do with that promissory note. <laughs> you can't eat a promissory note. Depends what sauce you put on it. <laughs> I tell you, sometimes I feel like chasing that train and jumping a ride back home. Why don't you? Yeah. Well. A classmate of mine once jumped a boxcar to Vancouver looking for work. He never made it. He stayed on top of the car when the train pulled through the tunnel in the Rockies. He fell under the wheels. He's overcome by the uh, smoke and the ashes from the engines. Dear Lord. He wanted me to go with him. Oh, it's so frightening how much we take for granted. Damn it. Damn, I miss my family. All my life, I'm used to having people around me. It's Roger or Laura. When you're from a family, you're never really alone. There's always somebody to talk to. Water in the taps. Light in the bulbs. Oh, sorry. Little David must have a problem.
watch it, eh? Well, what? Well, we don't know. It's not the right of the school. Now then, don't let the kid monkey. Don't let the kid monkey with it. No problem. No problem. You think that's so right? No problem. No problem. Lie out. We're a little late because Bert was trying to find his neighbor for foot again. Then she did. Oh, it's what a pretty dress. I've never seen you wear that before. Oh, it's uh, in front of my trunk, London. Don't get too many chances to wear it here. It's pretty. Ooh. I think Bert is down some self defense. Uh -huh. trunks when I first came here. I thought Bert's brother was going to faint when he saw how many. He was the one that had to cart them over to Bert's farm. <laughs> Bert told him, here's the girl from England. She only brought half of it. The rest of it's on the next train. <laughs> Bert thought that was so funny. He laughed for a good half hour. Well, have you never been back? No. You're the teacher, ain't you? Yes, I am. I'm Lester Sinclair. You have three of my kids in your class. Sure, I have Sammy and Pearlie. You've been giving them food, and they don't need charity. What? Shaming them in front of the other kids, and me in front of my neighbors. I can provide for them. Uh, uh, Just listen to me, uh, teacher. Uh, you uh, put uh, stuff uh, in their heads. And I'll put stuff on the table. Let's go somewhere as quiet where we can talk, hmm? He had to feed a sheep Russian thistle. Two of his lambs scoured so badly they died. Look at that there. Unemployment reaches new high. They're up time, I'll tell you. Mr. Eberhard over in Alberta wants to give people the money. $25 a month to every man, woman, and child. Without earning it? Well, don't you see? He earns it by being a consumer. 
you pay a man for consuming. It's so he dummy. buys Baby. things, keeps a wheel of industry, sir. Oh, my God, let's go somewhere else. already. Somebody else must have done it. What are you lying for? It's a brand new encyclopedia. It's never been touched before. Well, it's a few pictures. There's lots more in that book. You better stay after school today, Jake. Well, I can't do that, teacher. I gotta help my old man solve some poplar poles. Just the same. You stay at the school. And after that, I gotta milk four cows and separate the milk. All right. 
Well, I'll give you a choice. You either stay after school or you get the strap. Class dismissed. But we still have 20 minutes to go. Well, class is dismissed 20 minutes early today. Close the, close the front door and have your way out. I'm supposed to feel sorry for you, huh? Well, I don't. Oh, poor little thing. Go on. Go on, get the hell out of here. Blow, blow thou wind to wine, that thou art not so unkind as man's ingratitude. Thy tooth is not so keen, because it is not seen, although thy breath be crude. Teacher, it sounds like Shakespeare spent the winters in Saskatchewan. Well, Shakespeare's from Saskatchewan. Oh. Don't you children know anything Shakespeare's from? From Saskatchewan. What's the order today, Jake? My boss says I don't have to bring it no more. Well, I depend on that order for uh, the children depend on it. I, I depend on it for my cooking. My boss says I don't have to bring it. Well, what am I going to do? I don't know. Let's clean up this classroom. You know, my old teacher, he'd never have strapped Jake. First time in the water cup. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome anytime.
I've left home. I've left home for good. These trousers are burnt. I know they're not very flattering, but but they were warm. Thank you. I'm gonna make something hot to drink. I'm fine now. I'm just going to catch my breath. I, I've got to go. What? Where are you going? I don't know. I... You're not going out in that weather. Very nice suit. Sorry, I wasn't expecting anybody for. Please, please. It was awful of me to come here in the first place. I, I didn't mean to. I just got on Nellie's back and rode away. Did you ever feel that you had to, to go away? Away from where you were and no matter what you did, you had to go? Yes. children. I love my kids. But same noses to wipe, same diapers to change, the quarreling and the fighting and the questions. And Bert. Do you think it's possible to hate a man? To detest him because of something he says? No, he never died a window yet. Over and over again. I still remember that train ride from Halifax to Saskatchewan. Because I was only 19 then, remember? The country was so big. I looked out of the train window. And I could just see all these beautiful scenes. And I said to Bert, is that what our farm's going to be like? He laughed and he said, hell, in Saskatchewan, we don't even call that a farm. Wait till you see it, honey. Wait till you see it. When I when Weather. People die in blizzards. Cruel, you. So cruel in every way. I got three kids. Thank you. 
No, I don't think so. Not if it meant having awful bull's glands popped into it. Counts for you, dear. Bulls for me. We certainly live in a marvelous age. <laughs> I do love you, sir. Don't blow, dear heart. It gives me the shivers. Swivel your face around a bit more. Oh, that a line. Shall I do it again? Swivel your face around a bit more. Is that better? Very nice. Thank you kindly. Darling, no, you're so terribly, terribly dear and sweet and attractive. And uh, actually, this Quebec heater keeps it pretty comfortable most of the time. I feel terrible putting you out of your bed. Don't be silly. I have a lot of reading and uh, I've got a lot of things to do. I've got reading and a lot of work. Where do you keep the blankets? They're under the bed.
home. Get your things on. Uh, she was, uh, she was lost and, uh, she was stranded in the storm. There was, uh, there, there, there was no way to possibly even, uh, even get back if we wanted to. She does these crazy things sometimes. Damn if I know why she doesn't. Of course, she's in a family way now. Maybe that accounts for it. Sorry if she bothered you. I'll take her home now. Fur, fur, wait, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Get Nellie out of the barn. Well? Any when she was here. I'll break your back. Well, woman, you never died a winter yet. for him, but he didn't want no part of it. Better just leave him alone. What does the bank want this house and land for anyway? Hardly enough to keep a gopher alive, let alone a family of seven. ever wrong 
to old Erin far over the sea. For my heart it is there, with the skies are so fair, and old Ireland is calling for me. Oh, I want to go back to that tumble-down shack where the wild roses bloom round the door. Just to pillow my head in that old trundle bed. Just to see my old mother once more. Oh, oh. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Real nice. No, no, no. Don't get up. Go ahead, Washington. Surely to God, there's no need for petty bourgeois false modesty here. I think I've had a heart attack. You know how hard it is to get warm water for a bath and keep it that way. You just go ahead and go ahead and I'll just sit here. Ooh. I take a bath every 24th of May, whether I need it or not. Socialist party. I tell you, we're gonna sweep this country. We've got to teach the voters that a, a real democracy, the people must think. I just vote for someone because you might get a road job out of it. Can we? Uh, can we count on you? Sure. Got nowhere else to go. No, 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 no. As a speaker, I mean. A new voice. The voice of you. Oh, the pride oh, of the grateful oh, plain. Oh, oh, Forced to teach school at a starvation wage. Yeah. Teaching children as poor and downtrodden as the Sinclairs. No, no. No! What do you mean, no? Harris, I have a lot on my mind. I, I have Jake to contend with. Well, I have to walk two hours every day. What to am I going to do? I already announced that you'd be there. Announced? What do you mean you announced that I'd be there without even asking me? I knew you wouldn't refuse me. Harris, I have refused you. I knew we could count on you. Harris, you're the hope of the future. Harris! Harris, I said no. What's this about you speaking at that communist meeting? Well, I disagree with you, Mr. Bishop, but it's beside the point. I'm not speaking to me. Well, Montgomery's putting it around the district yard of the speech. Well, it's a misunderstanding. Well, I'm not folks speaking. Folks in this area are not going to take kindly to the teacher speaking at a socialist meeting. What I do with my life is my own business. Well, they might not take you on for another term. Oh, for, not, for 450 lousy stinking dollars a, a year that I haven't even seen one cent of yet? Now listen, you. I, I plan to make them notes good. For this, I'm supposed to give up my right to say what I want to say when I want to say it? What's happened to free speech? There's a time and a place for free speech. This isn't it. You have no right to tell me when and where I can speak. Am I right, Mr. Bishop? Well, yes, you're right. You're 100% right, up to a certain okay. point. It, but you're not going to speak. Is this or is this not a democracy? You're damn right it is. Yes, damn right. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Montgomery, it's me, teacher, Max. I want to talk to your husband. Uh, Harris, he's sleeping. Come back in the morning. It is time to make visits. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'll do it. Go back to bed. Do what? Out I'll bed. speak at the meeting. I knew I could count on you. Paul. Come back tomorrow and we'll discuss it. No, no, I want to talk about it now. I want to talk about poverty in the midst of plenty. And about poorly equipped schools. And about... I want to speak for all the young men who are riding the rails. No hope, no dreams, no future. Harris! Save the rest of that for the meeting. Let me get some rest. Let I want to talk about my friend who went to Vancouver looking for a job. He never made it. I want to talk about...
God's own fresh air. We are here to discuss a new party. Why, you ask, do we need a new party when the ones we got are already causing enough problems? We want to find the answers. Answers to why we are poor when so many are rich. I ask you, why is a bushel of wheat worth $2 10 years ago, now worth 45 cents? Why, you damn right. Why? And now, Max Brown, who will speak to us from the point of view of you. Nice to meet you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I myself have a little joke that I would like to share with you, if I may. Uh, story that dramatizes the situation that we find ourselves in. A man fell into the Saskatchewan River. Five men saw this and leaning over the bridge began shouting questions at him. When they learned his name and place of business, they ran off hoping to get the man's job and leaving the man to drown. Here we have a fine generation of young people. Here we have a fine... Here we have a fine generation of young people. Sounds like a blood. Their bodies are sound with the athletic support that we have given them. The prospect of youth is bleak. Thank you. Well, how was your speech? I'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind. Well, if you will, listen to crackpots and rattleheads. gasoline to run it. Gasoline is unavailable without cash. You may have noticed there's a considerable lack of that around. I have noticed. So, I'm driving a two-horsepower Bennett buggy, named after our esteemed Prime Minister, R.B. Bennett, who sits on his broad posterior down there in Ottawa without a thought of suffering humanity. I had something important to tell you, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> Hop in. Looks like you're busy seating by now. No siree. Get up. Get up there. What's the use of putting wheat in the ground to be blown away? If I sold anyone's fields, it'd be my neighbors. Because the wind might blow it back on my land. Do you think it's going to let up at all? It's getting worse. The only way to tell if it's lead enough is to toss a gopher in the air, and if he digs a hole up there, you know it's too rough to go into the field. <laughs> I just remember what I come to tell you. The school inspector's coming tomorrow. What? Yep. The wife spotted him over in El Sask. Where are you going? Home! Oh! I've got a lot of work to do. Well, stay here. I'll give you a lift. I can get there faster myself. We're just having a good talk. That's a trouble with everybody. Just sit here, let everything go to pot without trying to do anything about it. Get up.
All right. During the past million years, within the past million years, 97% of Canada was covered by what? Glacierite. That's right. I hope you're all as smart as Paul when the inspection comes. Put the focus hand. C-H-R-Y-S-A-N-T-H-E-M-U-M. C-H-R-Y-S-A-N-T-H-E-M-U-M. All right, who here can integrate that? Sure. Are you sure? Because only four of the school inspector office comes to the crime scene. Are you sure? Thank you, sir. Could we please all go and have a very quiet, Calm, nice lunch. Everyone just at your desk eating very quietly, calmly. All right? Where's everyone going? <laughs> Anyone here? Oh, uh, my name is Woods, school inspector. Just a friendly visit. How do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm Max Brown. I'm the teacher. How do you do? Tell me, what time do you begin afternoon classes? Oh, well, one o'clock sharp. So much to do. It's important to use every minute. Well, in that case, your pupils have exactly two minutes to appear, ma'am. everybody. Where did you go, the gophers? These gophers are, are very destructive to the wheat. And the children get a scent for each tail. The species around here are not gophers. They are Richardson's ground squirrel. Richardson. Oh, Richardson. Oh, Richardson. Oh, Richardson. Oh, Richardson. In 1820-1820, named after Sir John Richardson, a distinguished naturalist and explorer, part of our heritage. Now, if you don't mind, I'll go downstairs and have a look at me. Chemical toilets! Well, I'm your room. My, my room? And call me when your pupils decide to return, will you? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
You have to everyone. You have to collect the tails and keep score. Then you tell the government and they pay us. All right. I want you. You're 20 minutes late from lunch. Now sit down in your seats. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Um, come on, think. Concentrate. You had it yesterday at the capital of Portugal. Latin country. Next to Spain. All right. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Now, I'd like to ask a few questions. This should be an easy one. What is the capital of Canada? Yes, boy. The capital of Canada is C. That's right, isn't it, teacher? Well, we'll try another one. The play, pay attention, boy. The plain in Canada extends for about 1,900 miles from the Rocky Mountains to the Appalachians. The plain is composed of ancient worn down rocks, which are called what? I know, I know. Good, good. The spear. What? It means a shield. Yeah, that's what I meant. What is an island? Yes. A piece of land completely surrounded by water. What is a lake? Yes, girl. A body of water completely surrounded by land. What is a beach? Come on, girl, stand up. Get up and speak up. I can't hear you. Come on, stand up, girl. What is a beach? A female dog. <laughs> See your daily journal, please. My what? My oh, I don't have I don't have one. Oh, ten grades. I'm much too busy preparing my lessons and teaching them. Mr. Brown, there are distinct advantages in orderliness and neatness. Cleanliness and punctuality. I am sorry to tell you, Mr. Brown, that I have never seen such a badly taught class in many, many years of experience. I'm sorry. Not very well organized. I mean, how do you find? Look, what is that? It's my lunch. Your lunch. I got them. I got my sword. What, what, what are they? I am going to recommend that you are not to be rehired. You are not fit to teach children anyway. Sir! If you want to judge me by what you're seeing here today, that's fine. But I have something I would like to say to you. Please, Mr. Brown, I've got a long journey ahead of me. What are you doing? What do you know about rural children? Will you kindly give my hat back? 
stop listening to you all afternoon. Now you can listen to me. You are clearly deranged. You think the boundaries of Canada ended Ontario? That rural Saskatchewan children are supposed to know everything printed in books uh, from Toronto, New York even? For God's sake, get a grip on yourself. Books that show perfect people who live in little cities and get along so well with their neighbors. All of this is going down on your record. And in all their learning, not even one word about their own environment? Will you kindly let me get in my car? If you were not so unbendingly efficient, we might have sat and talked about education and the problems these children are having. I know how to do my job, Mr. Punk. Hmm. You, you might have opened up their minds with tales of the places that you visited in this world. Countries that they might even not, not even get the chance to see. Instead, you carved down details and I played the bubble. Let me tell you this, Mr. Brown. You will be fortunate to find another job anywhere from one end of this great dominion to the other. These are hard times, Mr. Brown. into the next grade. Some of you even deserve it. Well, there, there should be something wise and wonderful to say to you all today, but uh, frankly, I can't think of a darn thing. So, uh, good luck. Class to see. suffer the cold, the dust, the students, the parents, nor live in the black hole of Calcutta. Going home, eh? September 8th, 1935, I returned to Willow Green to teach another year. 